I think hope inspires, hope engages. And I've seen uh, the power and the impact of communities coming together, even though they disagree politically or socially on the anchor in the storm, and that is the hope for children. I think we all need hope, and the science of hope is so compelling. When you talk about goals, pathways, and agency, I, we need that for both our educators, I mean really all human beings, but we need it from an educational perspective. We need our educators to have goals, pathways, and agency. They need a voice in their own learning, and they need a hopeful vision for the path forward. Likewise, we need that for our young people too. Because more often than not, I think you can attribute many things that kids struggle with uh, as far as seeing what they can become is through lack of hope and uh, knowing that there are some strategies that are very specific to being able to teach kids how to be hopeful. It all comes back to the same thing. It comes back to are we challenging them and their creativity? Are we asking them to collaborate? Are we asking them to be creative? And, and what we've seen through all of this is schools become fun. It's become fun again, not only for the kids, but it's become fun for the teachers. They look forward to coming to school every day and see what, what else they can create, to see what else they can provide our kids. I, I have faith in, in these kids, and I have faith in their futures, and I have faith because I'm around these adults. And my hope is that students feel empowered to have these skills to be successful, that their learning is authentic to them. I would love to see what's expected in the real world continue to make its way into the classroom so that we can give our students the opportunities to practice what happens in life in a safe environment with support so that when they're ready to fly, they can do so and they can be successful.